Are you thinking about writing a sitcom? Maybe you love sitcoms, but the idea of writing one seems impossibly hard. Or maybe you think it really can't be that hard. You're like George Costanza in Seinfeld, where he comes up with this idea for a sitcom about nothing. And he says that they should go in and pitch it to NBC. And Jerry says, since when are you a writer? And George said, what? What writer? We're talking about a sitcom. He seems to think that writing a sitcom is incredibly easy, which says more about George than it does about writing a sitcom. Well, whichever one is you, in this video, I'm going to give you four reasons to be cheerful about the idea of writing a sitcom. And then I'm going to give you two reasons to be careful and what to do next. So stick around for that. So let's get started. Could I really write a sitcom? Yes, you can. Reason number one, no qualifications required. You don't need to qualify as a chartered scriptwriter or sit exams. Can you imagine sitting comedy exams? Do you need to go to film school or get a master's in screenwriting? Nope. My college degree is theology. I have zero qualifications. And somehow I've written over 100 episodes for BBC television and radio, including Miranda, My Family, Bluestone 42, Hut 33 and a bunch of others. You don't need qualifications. All you need is something to write about, and then you need to write it. All you need is something to write it on, which takes us to reason number two. No special equipment required. You don't need any kit, just something to type on. You can probably use the device that you're watching this video on. Oh, hang on, wait, unless it's an Apple TV. I don't think you can do that. But there's something brilliantly democratic about script writing. You've got 30 pages and the same words as every other writer. The same words as Jerry Seinfeld, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Richard Curtis or any other writer that you care to mention. And there are loads of names to mention because, reason number three, people like watching TV and they like laughing. This is not a minority skill you're trying to crack. It's not like you're trying to master writing haikus. Sitcom is not some rarefied art form. It's a huge multi-billion dollar industry and that's just friends on its own which means that reason number four to be cheerful, there's money in it. There's not a lot of money for writing haikus, at least not in Hollywood or the UK, but when the money does come in for writing sitcoms, it's pretty good. When sitcoms are commissioned, the money isn't bad. You get repeat fees and residuals. I'm still getting payments from stuff that I wrote 10 years ago, 15 years ago. It's not enough to retire on, but it's not nothing. I've made a living predominantly from writing situation comedy for the last 20 years. I didn't study screenwriting. I was born and raised on a dairy farm in Somerset and I didn't go to Cambridge or I didn't know anyone in the industry. So it is possible. So those are four reasons to be cheerful. And I've got one more for you in a moment. But first, here are two reasons to be careful before we close with what to do next. And I recommend a couple of sitcoms that you could watch and learn from. So reason to be careful, number one, there's no money in it for a long time. Starting out takes ages. Writers have to do a lot of legwork in order to prove themselves, prove their ideas, improve their craft. So the money takes quite a long time to come in before you're in that position. When I started out, I earned nothing for a few years. I didn't earn very much, but I'd just been a student, so I'd cracked how to live on not very much money. And I wasn't married, didn't have any kids. So I was able to take advantage of that. Whereas if you've already got commitments, you're gonna to have to fit this learning in around your existing job and family commitments. So it is hard, but on the plus side, if you're in that situation, you've got more life experience and you've actually got more to write about. So every cloud has a silver lining. Reason number two, it's really competitive. I just ran a script competition here in the UK and we had nearly 900 entries. The BBC Writers' Room, BAFTA, Rowcliffe competitions, they get thousands of entrants. There's a lot of people out there trying to write scripts. And you're not just competing against other aspiring writers, you're also competing against actual sitcom writers like me, as well as high profile stand-up comedians, writer performers, YouTubers who have already proved themselves and have a big following. And that's an attractive proposition for a TV commissioner. But here's one more reason to be cheerful before I tell you what to do next. Reason number five, a good script will get noticed. Why? Because most scripts aren't very good. Sitcom scripts are really hard to write. I just read hundreds of scripts for this script competition and getting it down to 20 or 30 was actually quite easy. Write a really good script and you will get noticed. You will get some meetings, you'll get interest and eventually you will get some work and some money. How much? I can't say. So could I really write a sitcom? Yes, you can. You could certainly write a sitcom script. And if you want to know how to do that, there are some things you can do right now. Do what I did. 
There weren't any comedy courses 20, 25 years ago when I started out, but I figured out how sitcoms are written by watching sitcoms and noticing their rhythms and how they work. You could do that and that doesn't cost you anything. Two shows that I think are really good to learn from would be Frasier, especially the early series, which, where it's just crystal clear the whole time what the characters are trying to do in every scene. And it's not too complicated. They managed to make it look very simple. Another show I think that is really simply and well written is The Goldbergs. It's really good and shows the emotional journeys of the characters really clearly. But take any sitcom, watch it closely and notice what's going on, what's happening in each scene, break it down. You can also get scripts off the internet, you can have a Google around for that. Go to the BBC Writers Room, there's even scripts by me from my Bluestone 4-2 show, you could have a look at those. That's all free. The other thing that's free is this YouTube channel. Please make sure you subscribe. But also what's free is a whole load of videos I've done that you can have access to now if you join my mailing list. Uh, really long, so like 90 minute videos on character and plotting and what even a sitcom is and what the rules are. So go on my mailing list for that. Go down below and find it. Sign up and you could be watching those videos in minutes. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time.